good night. I hope you're doing well. Tonight, I will be reading The Slender Man, credited to Josh Dean on creepypasta.com. I will link the original story in the description. If you enjoy this narration, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's begin the story. There it is again. What is that damn thing? I can't take this anymore. It's like everywhere I go, all I see is this horrible, tall, thin, and seemingly faceless creature. It's been haunting my dreams as well ever since I first saw it. All it does is just stand there and watch me. I can't shake this constant feeling of being watched. It's like I'm never alone. I hate it. I can't sleep, I can't go outside, I can't function as a normal person anymore without it being there. I've done a lot of research on it the last couple of days, googling what I can best to describe it as. All I could remember is it being an impossibly tall and thin man. I say impossibly because no human could ever be that height and that thin. It's just not fucking natural. I tried my best to remember its face. I figured that would help me narrow the search, but there wasn't one. I have no memory of seeing this thing's face. It was always just a blur. But then, I could never look at it long enough without feeling uneasy. I usually just walked in the other direction or something, where if it was a dream or a nightmare at that, I would always wake up before I could get a clear look. Well, the search provided me with something called the Slender Man. The fuck is a Slender Man? This mythical creature is the thing that's been s stalking me? No. It can't be. I refuse to believe that. I've not left my house in two days. I've been held up reading all these Slenderman stories and accounts. Needless to say, sleep has eluded me for the duration. Nothing's going right anymore. I think I've angered it by not letting it in my dreams. I keep hearing banging on the windows late at night, and creaking of the floorboards as I'm lying in bed. I know they say that houses do that on their own, but... This is different. These creaks aren't that of a house settling. There's weight behind them, like soft footsteps. However, every time I go to look, there's nothing there. Even when I re-enter my room, I always get the sensation I'm being watched. Tell me, have you ever been sitting in a room by yourself, windows and doors closed, and suddenly a door opens for no reason? I think everyone has, but I'm different, I swear. It's not the draft, I've had all the windows locked for about a week now, and I'm not the sort to believe in ghosts or anything, but this just has an eerie feel to it. Whenever the door spontaneously opens, it gets noticeably colder in the room. The second I leave the room, however, all the other rooms are back to normal, so it's not like my thermostat's on the brink. Any room, however, except my own. My room has been getting cold recently. Real cold. I've resorted to lighting candles all around the room and try to heat up the place. I don't know what's happening. I'm starting to lose it. I ran outside today for the first time in over a week. I thought maybe my delusions were coming from being cooped up and spending too much time scaring myself reading about the Slender Man. I went through my day-to-day -day life as best as I could, and to my surprise, no sightings of the thing. Everything was going fine, in fact I was starting to forget about the whole thing, that is, until I was heading home. I was walking through the woods trying to take in as much fresh air as possible before I went home and I stumbled across a piece of paper lying there on the middle of the footpath. Normally I would have just written it off to be some litter left by someone, but it was crisp white, and it looked like it had been carefully placed there, no longer than perhaps 20 minutes ago. I picked it up and turned it over. It was a drawing. A drawing of that thing, the Slender Man. A very crude sketch depicting him with the words no written over and over, scribbled down on the sides of the page. As I tried to decipher the page, the clouds quickly darkened turning into a heavy black. I'd best get home quick before the rain hits, I thought to myself. Now I'm home, 
sitting and staring at this fucking picture, going out of my mind, trying to figure out just how it got to where it was. Thinking about what sick fuck drew this and left it there for me. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'd be as well to get some sleep. I swear that damn picture's cursed. That fucking thing was in my dream again last night. It seemed so real. I was lying in my bed in the dream, and I'd woken up, and I saw it standing there, in the corner of my room. I tried to scream, move, do anything, but I couldn't. I lay there, frozen in fear, wondering what would happen. He just lifted his arm and stretched it a good ten feet to the headboard of my bed, and rested his hand. Well, I say hand, but they didn't feel like hands, more like tendrils. Well, he rested his hands over my eyes, and I went back to sleep. When I woke up, there was nothing. What a fucked up dream. Oh, and do you know what else has been happening? Since I bought that fucking picture home? My electronics have been fucking up. My laptop shuts down on its own, even with full battery. My TV suddenly turns to static. My phone keeps getting no reception, along with the opening of doors the constant sound of footsteps in the night. You get the picture. I'm burning that picture tonight. I'm taking it out back and setting the fucker alight. No, no, no. No, this can't be happening. I've watched it burn. I took that piece of paper outside last night and I watched it burn. How can it be back? What kind of twisted bastard would put a duplicate copy through someone's mailbox? This really isn't funny. I can't even phone for help because my electronics won't stop acting up, and I'm too paranoid to leave the house. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Things are getting too much to cope with now. Day after day, more and more of these damn pictures keep coming through. Nothing works in the house, and I keep thinking I'm seeing him in the house. Whenever I leave my room, I think I catch a glimpse of him in my peripheral vision or in the corner of a mirror as I pass. It's driving me crazy. Has this thing really invaded my home? If so, there's no safety to be had. If it can get to me here, it can get me anywhere. It doesn't mean I won't go down without a fight though. Okay, so I've locked my doors and all the windows and took enough food and water from the kitchen to last me about a week. I'm gonna hold up in my room for as long as possible. I don't feel safe outside, nor do I feel safe in my own home. This is my last resort. I know he's got something sinister in store for me. I just know it. Why else would he go to such lengths to scare me to the brinks of my sanity? Well, I've barricaded myself in my room for now. Nothing's getting in here without my say-so. It's getting late. I'm gonna try to get some shut-eye. Shit, what was that? I swear I heard something move. It must have, because it woke me up. This is no ordinary footstep that I heard at the beginning of all this. No, it was loud and deliberate thud. It must be messing with me. The Slender Man knows I'm here. It knows I'm here. I would get up out of bed to turn the light on, but there's no point. He's been messing with the electrics. I lay here scared out of my mind, staring into total darkness. I know this sounds crazy, but have you ever seen a darker shade of black than normal? Like when you're in a dark room with only a little light and everything casts a shadow, but some shadows seem darker than the others? I swear even though I'm currently in near blind darkness, that corner is darker than the rest. It's the same corner that was in my nightmare. It's like the darkness is moving. My my night vision is getting a little bit better now. I think I can see a bit more detail. Oh god. Oh no. I, I can see the outline of a man form in that corner. A really tall, thin man. It looks like he's wearing a suit. It's him. He's here. Just like in my dream. I, I lay here. 
I lay here frozen in fear, wondering what's going to happen. He lifts, he lifts his arm and stretches it across my room and over to my head. He rests his hand. No, these aren't hands. These are tendrils on my forehead. I thought about grabbing his arm and trying to push him away or getting up out of bed and trying to break down the door or something. But something told me there's no use. Nothing would help me now. His tendrils grew in length and snaked down my entire body, slowly wrapping themselves around me into some sort of blackened cocoon. Before I could scream, the blackness reached before my face and covered my mouth. As it enveloped my head, the last thing to be covered was my eyes, which they were firmly shut the whole time. I decided to open them one last time. I looked directly up and he was there, standing directly over me, looking down. That was the last thing I saw before the darkness claimed me. Although he has no face, I, I swear he seemed to smile. That was The Slender Man. I hope you enjoyed that chilling story, and if you did, please leave a like and a subscription. If you have any story suggestions, contact me through Discord. My username is in the description. And with that concludes tonight's video. I hope you have a good rest of your night, and never mind that movement from the corner of your eye. I'm sure it's nothing.